Richard, Victor Echo 2 Delta X-Ray from V2DX Electronic Design. Hi, guys. Uh, just taking a few minutes to show you some of the new stuff we got this year, some of the old stuff that uh, is getting better and better as much as we can as we work on them. Uh, so over here we have, right here, our very uh, useful little HDMI CI5 converter. Basically, it takes CI5 information either through Wi-Fi, cabled, or Bluetooth. Right now, I'm using Bluetooth to getting the information to the monitor. Uh, but you can also connect directly into 7300, 9700, all the way back to 756 Pro 3. Now, to change, let's say, from this guy to the combo over here, all I need to do is go into Setup, Bluetooth, oops. Sorry about that. Works better when you got good fingers. Okay, pairing. And I'm going to disconnect the big monitor and reconnect to the combo kit right here. So now what you're going to see is this guy's going to go looking for Bluetooth. And the bottom one is now connected to the radio and showing the information from the radio. This guy, basically what it is, is a combo. It is the flat display, all the cables are RFI filtered, and on top of that you get the IM1 uh, HDMI interface. So this is great for soda, poda, and whatever else you're doing, camping or whatever else. Um, we also have our little meters, and I'm going to go to basically the same process to connect the meter pairing. And I'm going to, oh, it's back there. There we go. Oh, I need to disconnect the other one first. Sorry about that. So disconnect the first one, find the second one. <laughs> and now you're going to see the same information on this guy come up again. This, the big ones have two screens, mostly bar graphs of, the, of variations of. The small one has four screen, the two same bar graphs, and two needles, which are great. The final device that we use a lot are our uh, CI5 hubs, and some of them have uh, Bluetooth. This is great because if you have a lot of Bluetooth device in the shack and you want to connect them onto your 705, you cannot do that. But with my device, you can. So I'm back into the setup. I'm going to disconnect the small meter, reconnect this time to the device with the red light. Oh, it's giving me a little bit of a hard time. Not sure why. It's always when you do a demo. Let's try this again. It needs to go through the process of trying. Oh, there it is. OK, so it finally connected. So now you have the blue light indicating to you that you're connected Bluetooth. What that does for you, this is specific to the 705. It gives you CI5 cabled for 705, which the 705 does not have. And that's a big part of our, that market with the 7DM uh, and the 6BT variations of those devices. Uh, this way you can connect your linear or your tuner or whatever else you need. You can also use that Bluetooth link with a regular radio to isolate your PC section of, uh, from your RF section. Uh, this way you can eliminate any kind of possibility of RFI. Now as we go down, obviously we got variations of the small meters with or without the CI5. We got extra batteries of different size, 750 or 1.5 milliamp that we can add to small meters. We also have a water resistant version, which is great. Uh, this is basically the same thing, and inside of there, there are connectors for 7300, whatever, uh, and it connects directly to a, a USB power source. So, this is great if you're doing a lot of outdoors. Next, we have uh, the IAB3 Dual, which is uh, two versions of accessory one connectors, this the 8-pin or the 13-pin for radios like the 7300, and it outputs on 3.5 millimeter on each side. So this is basically a breakout box to get uh, easier connections to your accessory connectors. 
Same thing for the Kenwood. Uh, basically, Kenwood only has a 13 pin, and it works all the way back to the E450, just the outputs vary a little bit on the outputs. Um, for Yezu, uh, for the older Yezu uh, 9X7, uh, no, 8X7, sorry, 817, 818, 857, 897, FT100, and also the newer 710 can support this. This is basically a Bluetooth CAT interface, uh, the YC2BT. Very small interface, just plugs into the back of the 710 or those other radios, and it gives you Bluetooth CAT uh, off of those radios. Okay, well, we got a lot of products. The uh, combo kit for the uh, any kind of radios with DVI, I guess. Uh, this is a Yezu safe kit, meaning Yezu issues are based on the monitor or the TV set pulling too much drain from the 5 volt, blowing that fuse on the board. What we're doing with the Yezu Safe Kit is we're limiting, eliminating that 5 volt uh, from the monitor and not connecting the 5 volt to the radio to prevent that from happening. This combo kit is a monitor that we've t fully tested with that, that works 100%. The issue with eliminating the five volt kit is that some monitors might not work. So we're, we put together this kit, it's available from our website, and it contains basically the interface, the uh, cables, everything is RFI filtered cables, and uh, the power also, and the monitor. So that's a great kit, again, for POTA or SOTA or smaller operation, or just to add a, a monitor to your kit. Um, we've talked about the CT17B. Uh, that's basically our first product, and it's, it's also evaluating with time. We're version 2 or working on version 3 soon. Uh, next, we have our DC filters. These are very high performance, multi-frequency, multi-stage, multi-section. So basically we we do everything we can to get rid of any kind of interference from switching power supply or from other sources like generators and alternators and whatever else. Uh, we have our SDI, SDR1 TR switch. This version with the N-type connector is the 1.5 gig SDR switch. We'll flip the receive to the SDR output and when a transmit comes in from the transceiver, it will automatically protect the SDR receiver by grounding it and put the transmit information over to the antenna. Uh, the same thing is available uh, for HF and two meters. Uh, that's the SDR 1-TR and the SDR 1-TR plus is the 1.5 gig down to HF. Um, that's our lineup. Okay, big, 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 big promotion and announcement this year. We've actually announced the product last year over here. We've got the product on the shelf at the X Engineering and at other our other uh, retailers. If your retailer does not carry uh, V2DX, please ask them why, and we'll be happy to add them to our shipping. Uh, these are band decoders. There are three variations. A single radio, single set of eight outputs. A single radio with two sets of eight output. You see the back side right now. So basically on this baby, that one radio can control two separate types, tables of bands. One for the antenna, one for the bandpass filter. So you can control both of them from one input of a radio. And the big one is dual radio with two sets of output. What that means is that you've got two radios talking to this box. It has a couple of interesting features. One of them is software-defined interlock. So if I change that, right now it's a very basic configuration. The configuration of the bands can be a lot more complicated. Now if you go back down here, if I change that over and I'm, I try to use the same outputs as the other one is using.
So what you're getting is what I call BOA, a blind and deaf operator assistance. As soon as I moved it over, it came back out and you notice that the output was not engaged. As soon as I moved it over, it engaged the next one. So BOA, what that does is it gives the feedback using simple, very basic CW at a fair speed and we, we can off offer change of speed. If the operator does not understand CW, we can give it to you in decimal to help, again, the operator. Or you can disable it completely and get a regular beep saying there's a problem. The de detection of the problem is done through software-defined interlock. That's our creation again. Uh, and software-defined interlock compares the two tables, but it goes one step further. It takes the frequency from the second radio, whichever one is, is first, doesn't make a difference, upper or lower. And that frequency is compared to the table of the other radio. If that table is in conflict with that other radio for whatever reason, it will give you this error. In this basic test, they're all the same. But a good example for this would be a tribender, 2015-10 on one output, but separate dipoles on the other output. Uh, so this would mean that number two, let's say, would be the tri-bander on radio one. Number six would be 20 meter on radio two, and that would give you the same error. So these tables are fully flexible. They're right now being configured through your USB port, but we're working on putting that on a web page to make it easier to, to control. Obviously, a, a great match for that is our two by six uh, antenna switch, remote antenna switch. This is inside of a uh, fully uh, water-resistant NEMA-style uh, enclosure. This means you, can, you should put it at the top of the tower and just bring the two coax, two radios, controlling six antennas. Uh, we're going to be doing a, a combo before end of month of both of these devices together, the dual radio unit and the antenna switch. We're going to bring the price down and, and match them together. Uh, to offer that to you at a better cost. Uh, and then we got a large selection of, of uh, acrylic uh, call sign and on-air sign. Uh, this is the one we've been offering for a couple of years, which is dual zone, and you can trigger through the back with a simple contact, the right-hand turd, uh, so that that one will turn on and off as you transmit or whatever else you want to use it for. Uh, this is 60 bucks US shipped to your uh, destination. The small on air is uh, 35. It just, they're basically the way that one looks, they're all the same. Then we have the license plate units. Those are new, they're $40 shipped to your site, and they can be configured to whatever your call sign is. And we're working on finalizing a, a prototype. Uh, the two large ones, the w uh, W1AW and V2DX signs, those are basically uh, signs that through a USB cable and a laptop, you can run a small program and change the color as you wish. We're going to be putting an RX and a TX color in there, and we're debating right now how to trigger them, so we'll let you know how we finalize that. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much it for this year at Hamvention 2025. Uh, this is Richard, a V2DX from V2DX Electronic Design. Thank you.